In this time of the coronavirus, I have this idea that perhaps we can uh, deepen our pleasure of the common things of life by paying very, very close attention to what we see, what we hear, what we feel, the sensations that come through us. We can become more acutely aware of the, of the input we're getting and see if that we can't use that input to bring a sense of spark and life to our experience where we actually see something. A long time ago, I read a book called What to Do Until the Messiah Comes. And uh, in the book, it suggested that you take an orange and slice it relatively thinly and then hold up that slice to the light and actually look at it. I remember as I read this book, I read it so slowly that it was almost like I was meditating just by reading it. And I remember that um, I, I got so lost in it. People were waiting for me. They, they started yelling, hey, what are you doing? You know, I was in my 20s, of course. It wasn't that hard for me to be um, in the clouds at the time. But anyway, just this penetration of the, of the moment could be the consequence of actually paying attention to all the things, all the sensations, the light and the shadows that we see, and really just studying life in a very quiet, reflective way. I just can't help but think of my beloved Ram Das. It's just be here now. Yeah. Be in the present moment. Yeah, yeah. And that's really what we are asked at this. There's nothing we can plan for in the immediate future. It's just staying present. So it's really an amazing way to practice being present. Yeah. I want to read you a quote from um, a book by Brew Joy, who is one of my favorite teachers. And here's what he says. The subtle exploration into the obvious is the awakening process. Let's think about that. Say it again, Reverend Newsom. The subtle exploration into the obvious is the awakening process. Fairly deep, I know. Let's give it some thought. We'll get back to you again soon. Namaste. Namaste.